Welcome back to The Pulse. We are on the wire. So much news from around the scene, but uh, we always like to start off with some Hearthless Warm talk. There haven't been any patches recently, so we can't update you with anything like that. So instead, uh, we're going to talk about Hearthless Warm build orders that might be awesome that you guys should try out. Andre has been hard at work yes, putting sir. some together. Before we get into your clip, I just want to say that Battle Hellions are stupid. No. <laughs> I think you're stupid. <laughs> no. Ben, uh... They're both Go stupid. Ahead. I played a game. <laughs> <laughs> I played it. I played. <laughs> I played a game last night. I was so proud. A guy opened up Battle Hellion Drop, and I scouted it, and I defended it with like no damage taken. I only had to. Build How did you defend it? Like twelve spine crawlers. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's good. Man. That's good. No, that synergy that's is definitely really powerful. I think because of that boost needs to be an upgrade. The uh, medevac boost. Yeah. 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 yeah, that's that's pretty. Yeah. Is pretty legit. So, but anyways, tell us about uh, tell us about Terran versus Zerg and well, Heart of the Swarm. As you guys know, Heart of the Swarm is coming out pretty soon. Um, and Ben is a Zerg player. We got, of course, Terran player, Terran player, and a Protoss player over here. So I have a great collection of uh, different casters that are very capable of testing out builds. And I play all races, so we really get to feel out and test out and refine a lot of builds. And I think uh, what better place to do it than here at the NASL to really showcase those new builds that are coming out in Heart of the Storm because let's face it, like the new changes are just gonna are just gonna make everything go to the crapper because <laughs> everything's different, man. It so does, it changes a lot. Let's take a look at uh, the new segment, Heart of the Swarm build order. Uh, we'll take a look at new builds that you can integrate into Heart of the Swarm, looking at builds from the staff and of course from pros. So uh, definitely anticipate that. Not only that, we go over build step by step, as you can see on the left hand side. Uh, they're going to be listed for you. I go through each explanation on why you're doing the things that you're doing, including gas cuts, scouting, and even defending against all ins. Oh, God. A couple of that, yes. you get some examples. Yes. Mr. Bitter <laughs> <laughs> was my first guinea pig. Was very bitter there. <laughs> and as you can see, Wings of Liberty builds do not work nearly as Man, good. Man, I you didn't have even no units, Ben. I, I, I didn't know those rocks were there. I had spine crawlers, well, and he just knocked down those rocks. I didn't even realize there was rocks on well, that map. Well, do you know what it is? No one expects those rocks it's to be blasted blizzard, down man. that fast with Hellions. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but this is the most standard thing possible. I mean, it's Hellion spine crawler defense. This is like the Warhound phase, but then with Hellions. No, 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 don't say stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> Quiet. I, I'm pretty sure. Uh, Terran versus Erg win rates need something like this. Man. But yeah, uh, no, definitely expect that because um, that. you know, you'll be keeping up with the most up-to-date build orders and you'll always be able to beat Mr. Bitter online. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, if you guys are interested in Andre's uh, Battle Hellion build order, uh, the full-length video is like, 30 minutes long. It's pretty no, detailed. No, it's nine minutes. We cut it down. Oh, well, it was 30 I, minutes I long. I cut it down now personally it's nine after six long. miles. That's why you guys have to watch it, okay? <laughs> I, I cut it down personally. I made it from, like, I don't know how long it took to record. It's a legit build. Uh, just to give you guys a little bit of uh, food for thought on the strength of the Battle Hellion, I took seven roaches, or maybe it was nine roaches. I think it, it was, was nine roaches. It, I it was the standard seven, no, it was the standard, like, seven to eight minute seven roach timing. Okay, well, seven roaches. I walked up a ramp. There were five battle hands there, and all seven of my roaches died immediately. And three marines. Those marines helped. Yeah. <laughs> Every time I build a hellbat, it feels like my birthday. It's so nice as a Terran player. You have a lot of birthdays. I do. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I feel so old. No, but they're, they're definitely awesome. Uh, ben, you didn't win a game, so no. you know. No, it was, yeah. you know. it was not fun. It was not Sorry, fun. Sorry, bro. It was a... It was a sad experience, but I did I did win my game yesterday. I'm going to show you the replay. I'm very proud of it. Only took 12 spine it. crawlers you to should. not take damage to a, a battle hunting drop. You did lose 1,200 HP on your hatchery. I did lose 1,200 <laughs> HP on my hatchery. So. And if he wasn't focusing that, the 12 <laughs> spine crawlers would have died. But That's <laughs> probably true. <laughs> All right, moving on with uh, more news from around the scene. MLG has announced the details for their winter circuit. Uh, MLG Adam revealing the rationale behind no open bracket at the championship in Dallas, Texas. The biggest issue, scheduling with major organizers often planning these events years in advance, the Heart of the Swarm release, was something MLG <coughs> had to scramble to accommodate. While the open bracket won't be present in Dallas, MLG has promised next level gameplay, improved relations with the Koreans, and massive improvements in production value. I, for one, cannot <coughs> wait to see what the finished product looks like. The MLG championship is, or the winner, the winner championship is scheduled for March 15th through the 17th 
in Dallas, Texas. It's going to be a lot of fun. I can't wait. Yeah, I, I want to. I want to actually go to bat for MLG a little bit because I have watched their competitions. I know. I know Clutch has watched a lot of his competitions too. Even back in like 2004, if you guys can remember, people were bringing their own CRT TV tubes like into the venue to play. And it was if you watch down the rows, because in MLG, if you ever go, there's a long Hogwarts banquet table <laughs> of, of like a bunch of TVs and monitors. But if you go back in 2004, 2005, there was a bunch of like uneven surfaces because everyone brought big TVs to really tiny like. Like six inch TVs how I don't even know how you play Halo on that uh, but that's what it used to be and then in 2005 2006 they made a big revamp because they were going to be on TV they were going to be on USA Network uh, and then after, the, after that they just keep making improvements and now they're saying for the first time in a yeah. long time they're making another jump mm -hmm. I'm really excited to see what MLG has and I want the community to really keep an open eye and ear for what MLG can have in store because I think they can do some cool stuff well even with what happened with Starcraft 2 you know I was there from the beginning working behind the scenes and having one bench for the audience for StarCraft 2 over in a corner where we shared it with World of Warcraft as well. But because of the... That was terrible. The <laughs> that, that explosion. Was there. That reminds me yeah. of Hawk against... Uh, was it Select? Kiwi Kaki? Oh, wait. Uh, yeah, with the mothership where he said like, oh, uh, yeah, yeah, don't worry, that's that for Halo. Halo. <laughs> <laughs> but to see the amount of growth that it's happened over the last two years is, is phenomenal. It is... It is disappointing to hear that an open bracket's not going to be there. We understand the circumstances, but MLGs have been this huge gathering of so many people. And, you know, the center stage in the game in StarCraft II there, along with League of Legends and the fighters, it was this almost like a convention of all these people getting together. And not having that because a lot of the open bracket players are not going to be able to attend, it's going to feel different. It's going to feel yeah. like a different event. But still, an increased production value has been MLG's goal since the end of last year. I look forward to see what kind of changes they're going to make. I think it's going to be awesome. I, uh, like I said, I will be watching very closely. I've been talking very uh, a lot with um, some of the people that work behind the scenes. <laughs> that's the influence of me. That's the, that's the, that's the Roddy terminology. <laughs> very a lot. I can't believe I just said that. <laughs> really a lot. What very a lot. Very a lot is even worse. I think. <laughs> Uh, anyways, we'll be uh, uh, we'll be providing. You were an English major. Bro. I was, man. That was that was before I met that guy. We'll be providing English a lot mind. more uh, news and coverage on MLG stuff as it gets closer. Code A qualifiers took place this past weekend, and uh, there were some very notable names making the cut, and several others coming up short. Amongst the qualified few, Rain, Revival, Seed, Effort, Crazy Hydra, and Roots' newly acquired Yu-Gi-Oh. A couple of big names that didn't quite make the cut: MMA, <laughs> Stork, Bisu, and. Foreign hopefuls Major and Thor Zane. There was one huge surprise story of this season's Code A qualifiers. <laughs> I, know you're pick, I know you're gonna pick Artosis. No. Uh, oh, really? I thought you were gonna pick Hitman. Yeah, that's that's <laughs> why I put him on the list. That <laughs> <laughs> always talks about Hitman. Hitman is awesome, all right? <laughs> Hitman is awesome. We'll talk ben about Hitman a little Hitman, later, I promise. The captain of his fantasy pro league. <laughs> yeah, season. and he has gotten zero <laughs> points this season. But Artosis, you can't trade him. <laughs> Artosis went out for the Code A qualifiers. He came, he saw, and ultimately he was conquered. But uh, yeah, but he lost to someone who got really far. Yeah. This guy Mechia from I think Wujin Stars. And like he almost qualified. He lost in the very last round. So Artosis, man. Results aside, hats off him. to Dan for going out. That is awesome. Yeah, we always talk about how most commentators are like af afraid to, yeah. to to play ball, right? And, uh, and Dan talk went more out. More about that later and, today. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Dan went out and uh, didn't did not qualify for Code A, but yeah, he, he put in some awesome. great games. Yeah, he's been tweeting a lot lately. He's been playing a, a lot as well recently, so I think yeah. that's very cool. Uh, we have to add that these were not all the guys that qualified for Code A, by the way. Just a couple of notable mentions, mm -hmm. but more players qualified. You guys can find all the results, of course, on Team Liquid as always. Man, how sick would it be if Artosis qualified? Do you remember when Artosis was in NASL Season 1? Yes. <laughs> Artosis was <before>. oh, <laughs> Trust yeah. me. He, he, he crushed Grubby yeah. <laughs> in NASL that Season 1. A very competitive yeah. match. Oh. <laughs> if you guys don't Dude, know what we're game. joking about, go back <laughs> and <laughs> look at NASL Season 1 on Liquipedia, and you will see what was at stake in the Grubby versus Artosis <laughs> pillow fight for the bottom <laughs> of the league. Yeah. Yeah. I still remember Artosis' audition video. Dude, it's still on YouTube, by the way. I think it's still on our channel. Man, those audition videos were awesome. I had so much fun. I just recently... Like every now and then, I watch like the old videos. Like X Lord made a really stupid video where he's, <laughs> where he's sitting and drinking vodka. I made one yeah. with I made one with the Muslim together, which was really funny because like his arm was still in a cast and he's like standing in front of the hospital. And then like a hot girl walks by, and I just kind of turn on the camera, and then the Muslim is like. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys remember the Villa one? No. no? Oh, poor Villa. 
Never mind. VVV no. Gaming <laughs> announced oh, the closure of their StarCraft II division. <laughs> uh, days later, and in dramatic fashion, it came out that it wasn't VVV management closing the doors, but rather an exodus of StarCraft community and personnel from that organization. Uh, the whole story is up on Team Liquid. You can read more about it there. I don't want to spend too much time on it today because at the end of the day, it is just drama. Save the drama for your mama. Owned TV, speaking of drama, yeah. has officially <laughs> closed their doors. Uh, not, not really a big surprise, but it's kind of bad news for some people. They are filing for bankruptcy. It means, it means that uh, you know, you're not getting your money back if you're owed money, at least not for a long time. Uh, some people in the community have expressed concern that Twitch will now have a monopoly on the scene, but rest easy. A new challenger approaches. Azubu TV is going to be entering the uh, streaming platform marketplace, I guess is the best way to put it. And they've already bit off a big chunk of market share. They've announced that they will be broadcasting a large portion of Riot's League of Legends Season 3 Pro Tour. So uh, I'm incredibly interested to follow this story. We don't have as much news on it now, but we're doing our homework, and we will be bringing more coverage on Azubu in weeks to come. What do you think about uh, Africa, Ben? Like the streaming service that's very popular in Korea. Do you think oh. they're ever going to make the jump to the Western market? Ah, uh, frankly, no. I think if they were going to, it would have happened by now. It's still pretty big in Korea. I mean, everybody streams Brood War yeah. on it, and uh, you know, I think it's going to stick around, I guess, over there. But I mean, just to answer your question, <laughs> I don't think it's going to happen. Ben, we yeah. have a we have a question. Oh, hello, Lauren Lees. Hi. You need to slow your roll. I so need your peripheral vision. <laughs> I know that I am in the back okay, so corner over here. Actually, in my periphery, I would have to. I, I have mm. to. I have to be looking at Elliot <laughs> to see you in my periphery. <laughs> so this is the angle where you enter my periphery. <laughs> so you need to turn over here. A little okay, more. Oh, I'm, I'm I'm turning. What's so up? So we're gonna rewind. Okay. All the way back to MLG question. People want to know if Clutch is going to be hosting MLG. Oh. oh. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, really? Man. We're going to do that. They're going to put the man on the spot like um, that. I, okay. Clutch, let me, let me tell you. I'm just going to give you a little piece of advice. Yeah. Maybe if you post on Reddit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you know what? Bam! <laughs> you know what? I could answer that question. The same question I got over and over again that I answered on Reddit. And look what happened. Look where I am. <laughs> uh, I can officially say oh. right now, guys, no comment at this time. That's what I can no say. Comment no comment at this time. Man. All right. That Juicy. means no. <laughs> no no comment. <laughs> that means no comment, Lauren Louise. Well, I'm not known to have tact, so I can say pretty much whatever I please. It within range. Moving That's on. <laughs> <laughs> IPL has announced a 64-man open tournament for Heart of the Swarm at their next event in Las Vegas. Um, the event will run al alongside the already announced Wings of Liberty tournament. It's going to boast a $75,000 prize pool. IPL's previous events in Las Vegas have been phenomenal. And the next one promises to be the biggest and the best yet. The Heart of the Swarm qualifiers start in February. The tournament takes place March 29th. Kev? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think there are two separated qualifiers, uh, two separated yeah. tournaments well, they're doing in the regional, regional, regional qualifiers, and Liberty, yeah, Wings Liberty, Liberty Tournament, mm -hmm. uh, Heart of the Swarm Tournament. I want to know if you're going to play in this one. Yes, I think actually I will play yeah. in Heart of the Swarm Tournament. Uh, yeah. I, still, uh, I will still play like, <laughs> Wings. I will still play Wings for two more days as I have a show match tomorrow. Uh, something I agreed uh. upon uh, for the Dutch StarCraft League, they're doing a very good thing in the Dutch mm -hmm. scene, like trying to get the colleges to play against each other and all the universities and stuff. They asked me to play. I said, like, guys, I really haven't had a lot of time to practice lately, but um, I said, like, okay, I'll help you guys out. So tomorrow night I'm going to play against Harsim, so I have been practicing some wings. But as soon as that's done, because uh, even though I probably will lose, I at least want to play some decent games, I'm going to go full hard with this farm, and I think I will play IPL. It's, it's pretty close for me. It's one of the best opportunities I get, I guess, to mm -hmm. play in a tournament with the schedule that we have. Of course, I'm going to have to get off my job. But now I'm putting so much pressure on my boss. So, guys, if I get fired, it's all your fault. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, I think I will play in this tournament. I'm really excited. And... Uh, man, like what better opportunity is it? I think you're going to win. Team? You're going to go out to Heart of the Swarm. You're going to beat Flash and Nesty. <laughs> he gets a seat to the Blizzard man. Cup Finals at the end of the year. because I of can it. hear Artosa say it already. What is up? <laughs> <laughs> I'm murdered. <out> <laughs> <laughs> that would be something. No, yeah. I, I, I think it's awesome, man. Like I really love it that they're having like the open tournament right now because MLG is not doing it this time. IPL immediately seized on uh, the opportunity. Having two tournaments, I think it's fantastic. It's going to be such a cool weekend for StarCraft. 
I can't wait for this, but I am a little bit concerned with having Wings of Liberty and Heart of the Storm in there, particularly yeah. with PVZ. That's like what troubles me most because I would hate to see like the most boring PVZs and Wings of Liberty and then see Heart of the Swarm in juxtaposition and just be like, well, why do we have Wings of Liberty here? Yeah. But at the same mm -hmm. time, it's like I don't know if good competition is going to come either. Mm -hmm. Like are the really, really super good players going to stick with Wings of Liberty or are they going to go to Heart of the Swarm? Well, there's it's so much money on the line yeah. at both tournaments. And yeah. the one concern that, that I would have is we've had tournaments run side by side before with WCS last year. Yeah. And <laughs> that was a difficult thing. With uh, with scheduling, so. Um, but yeah. one thing I, I think uh, IPL really tries to really value is like the customer is always right in a sense because people complain that why is IPL not doing Heart of the Swarm? It's already yeah. two weeks after release. Uh, people have been practicing a lot. A lot of pros have been switching. And then finally, they're kind of teasing it, you know. That like, and first, I think f at first, Kevin Naki was saying like, we might do some Heart of the Swarm, and might, people were thinking maybe a small invitation on the side, but it's a full out open bracket. Mm -hmm. I think they're really trying to listen to the community, and mm -hmm. people really have to appreciate that, even though sometimes it may not make sense having both tournaments. And it fills that void that was left by MLG not yeah. having an open bracket. Yeah, just That's a just couple weeks, a couple weeks later. That's very, they made it very clear, clear on their so. announcement. Yeah. Yeah, if, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I want to go. I want to go, and I want to cover it. Um, so you know what? So like, I do have a little bit of reserve for it with the with the games and the players, but I am overall very excited to see that. Mm -hmm. And uh, who knows? Maybe I'll I'll do a road trip with Roddy. Oh snap! Oh, I've never snap. been to Vegas yeah, either, guys. Right? So yeah, I'm going to our first Rotterdam in the finals. Was <laughs> 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 that more questions? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Uh, up, someone Marlins? asked if GOM TV is going to be helping out at IPL6. Well, that's a good question. I don't know if we've had any official I news. I haven't heard any yet. official announcement or news uh, from either parties. GSL about Code S right now is entering the round of 16. I'm, I would imagine it was surely going to be over by then. Uh, I, I don't know. I just I know that. No, I don't, I don't know if it's going to line up this yeah. way. Unless if they it was, it for like three weeks. If it was, yeah. they would have been pushing it. Again, Las Vegas yeah. finals yeah. GSL. And Certainly they're not, so. anything we would say would just be speculation at this point.